so for today's video I thought I'd try something a little bit different. Something sort of between a vlog and a distro review. So let's just see how it goes. So the other day I decided to try out a little bit of distro hopping. So I got on my laptop, which was at the time running GhostBSD, and I went ahead and installed Elementary OS on it. Now my reason for doing so is that I saw a video by the Linux experiment where they went over some apps that were available in the Elementary OS App Center, which for those that don't know, Elementary OS has its own app store and repository filled with apps more or less made specifically for Elementary OS. And I have to say those apps looked really polished and like they were designed just for Elementary OS. Everything seemed like it was really well integrated, more so than with other systems. So I decided to try it out and I'll tell you how that went right now on the Linux lounge. So I have to say, at first I was actually kind of hesitant to try out Elementary OS. I haven't tried out an Ubuntu-based distribution in years, especially not on real hardware. The reason being, it's not that Ubuntu is bad, I just haven't found any Ubuntu-based distributions that appeal to me. But I decided I wanted to try out Elementary OS because I really like the idea of having a clean operating system where everything just works and is designed to work together, which is part of why I like Solus so much everything just works. However, despite my enthusiasm, there were a few things that worried me about Elementary OS. One is that it's based on Ubuntu, and two is that it's based on an older version of Ubuntu. Those two things had me worried because I generally like to have newer package versions, which sadly Elementary OS didn't provide, but more on that later. So after I decided to install Elementary OS, I went ahead and wrote the ISO from the website to a USB and installed it on my laptop. The installation process worked perfectly and was totally seamless as I would expect from an Ubuntu based distribution. All of my hardware worked great and I was pleasantly surprised by how well everything worked, even despite my lower end hardware. Now, one of the things that Elementary OS is really well known for is being a really visually appealing distribution. And I have to say, it really is. It's very unique and attractive, and it's honestly probably prettier than even, say, you know, Mac OS, for example. Another thing that I find impressive about the aesthetics of Elementary OS is just how consistent everything is, especially if you stick to the curated apps in the Elementary OS App Center. Elementary has to be one of the most consistent Linux operating systems I've ever seen by far. Although I do have to admit, the minute you start installing GTK and Qt apps, that consistency does fall apart a little bit, but that's to be expected. It still does look somewhat consistent though. I suspect the reason for this consistency is because Elementary OS have a sort of quite in-depth design guidelines, which is definitely something I'd like to see more projects implement, as the results in Elementary OS are spectacular. Another thing that I want to talk about that's amazing about Elementary OS is just how high quality all of the software is. Genuinely, I think all of the built-in software for Elementary OS may be some of the best built-in software I've ever seen in a distribution. None of it is bloat and all of it is designed for Elementary OS and works really well. So therefore, it all has the same consistent design that I talked about earlier. As well as that, all of the curated apps are available on the Elementary OS App Center are extremely high quality as well. It really is worth getting Elementary OS just for all this amazing software. And I definitely recommend that you check out the Linux Experiments video on the best Elementary OS apps because they're all amazing. Now, the final thing that I find really cool about Elementary is a little bit different to all the other things that I've mentioned. I really like how often Elementary OS gets updated. There are feature releases all throughout the life of Elementary OS, whereas with, for example, an Ubuntu LTS, releases such as those tend to be in a state of feature freeze during their lifespan. So I appreciate that Elementary OS has what I've seen them refer to as a semi-rolling release model. Now. With all of that positive said about Elementary OS, I have to ask myself, will I continue to use it on my laptop and switch to it across all of my devices? I'm going to have to say no, but maybe it's more like not just yet. Now, I have to say my problems with Elementary aren't really to do with Elementary itself. It's more just problems than I have with Ubuntu-based distributions generally. My first problem is that packages tend to be really out of date which from what I'm told isn't a problem anymore on Ubuntu 20.04, but since Elementary OS is currently based on 18.04, it's a problem for now. But I'll definitely try Elementary OS again once they update their base to 20.04. Although with that being said, 
Though the packages in the Ubuntu repositories are out of date, the curated software is fully up to date. So if you're only really interested in that, Elementary OS still might be a good choice for you. Another thing that I find a little bit inconvenient about Ubuntu based distributions is that I had to add several third party repositories and install several dev packages to get all the software that I wanted. Which isn't a huge deal I guess, but it's a little bit of a far cry from something like Solace where everything I need is just available in the default repositories. But I suppose that third party repositories do have advantages, so I guess that's not a huge complaint that I have. Now the last complaint that I have is probably going to be quite a divisive one, since it's both a huge positive of Elementary OS as well as a negative to some people. And that complaint is that Elementary OS really isn't customizable. Even basic customization like a dark theme is missing. Although apparently a dark theme will be added in the next release of Elementary OS, so I'm definitely excited for that. Now, this lack of customization is probably going to be considered a good thing to some people, because it means essentially you can put Elementary OS on a machine and just get on with what you need to do without having to worry about customizing things. But personally, I do like to have a little bit of customization. Now, this lack of customization wouldn't be that much of a problem, but some of the defaults in Elementary OS are kind of weird. For example, the window button placement by default is very much unlike Windows or Mac OS, which it's fine for an operating system to do its own thing, but maybe it'd be good to have, you know, for example, an option to change that. Now, I don't know, I really don't want to complain about Elementary OS all that much because to be honest, I don't want to give the impression that I have a problem with it in some way, because I don't. It's a fantastic distribution and I'd highly recommend it to anyone who's looking for a simple and easy to use Linux distribution. I really like how polished it is, and maybe in a release or two's time, it might become my daily driver, who knows. But with that said, this has been a little bit of a strange vlog type video, and I thank you for watching it and I will see you in the next one.